Hello and welcome to Millfield School for round four of the school's championship. It's Millfield against Whitgift on the absolutely pristine surface that is the Sir Gareth Edwards pitch. We've been treated to some absolutely fantastic games in the school's championship so far. Sedba started things off with a victory way back at the start of the season against Whitgift. Since then, things have been really tight. Wellington College going to Whitgift in round two and earning a victory by just a single point. Round three saw Millfield heading over to Wellington College and Millfield claiming a victory against a huge Wellington College fight back. Just edging that one by a mere three points. But here in round four, how will it all end? Well, let me tell you who's going to be on the field first of all. Lining up for Millfield is their captain, Yian Davis, at scrum half, the England under 18, and Bath man, Tom Howlett, another Bath man at fly half, and in the centre, Stefan Emmanuel. Remember how well he played against Wellington College? He's alongside Jaden Lyons, who replaces Josh Levenstein, who was in the 13 shirt back at Wellington. Wings, Matthew Rickard, a late replacement for Seva Carver, and Matthew Hall. George Cottrell is at fullback. Front row, Yoan Emmanuel, the Wales under 18 man, is on the loose head. Henry Benetti at hooker and Ollie Davis at tight head. Gabemiga, Adeboy and Hayden Ebsworth are your second rows. And on the blind side, Alex Deering, who moves from the second row, is alongside Hugo Ormerod and George Timmins, who moves from number six to number eight. On the bench, Jack Lee, and we wait and see if Noah Miller is fit to take part. Whitgift, well, Ben Townrose at fullback, what a sensational couple of games he's had in the school's championship. On the wings, Tyler Stewart Parsley and Connor Budd. And in the centres, Sean Kerr, the England under 18 man, returns at 12 for his school's championship debut. 13 is Ben Quarry. And at fly half, the vice captain, Ethan Fitzgerald, with Sam Line at scrum half. Up front, Harry Flint, Ben Abraham, and Jamie Miller. Ben Abraham, remember, with that brace of tries against Wellington College in round two. And in the second row, Gabriel Akamea and Samuel Gower-Smith. Back row, Will von Daddleston, and how good is this? Max Hammond is back for his second game in the school's championship after that nasty head injury up at Sedba. Jocelyn Heaver is the captain. He's at number eight. His previous two starts in this competition have been the second row, but he's at number eight this week. Don Wade and Samuel Johnson on the bench, and the directors of rugby of the two side. John Mallett for Millfield and Chris Wilkins for Whitgift. We're just awaiting the teams. The referee's been out. The ball is in the middle. All we do is await the two teams. It's a 1.30 kickoff, remember. And let me just tell you a little bit about the history between these two sides in recent times. Millfield won this game 28-26 last year, but perhaps equally as important, they won 27-26 in the under-16s. That's both of the year groups that will be playing today, separated by a handful of points in their fixtures last year. Millfield have just had the edge, but will they have the edge here in round four as Whitgift make their way onto the field? Jocelyn Heaver there, you can see in the number eight shirt, talking to his men already. Big, big game, this one. Last time, Next Gen 15, we're here bringing you live coverage. It was that game, Millfield against Clifton College. Two unbeaten sides going head to head. Millfield won it that day in extreme conditions. It is a glorious, crisp November day here on the Sir Gareth Edwards field. Millfield back out on the pitch now, ready to go. Yian Davis, the scrum half, leading the applause for his men. Referee out there in the middle. Just to give you an idea of the school's championship table as we head into this, this is Whitgift's final game of the school's championship yet to pick up a victory so they're there in fourth place on two points just two points behind both Sebra and Millfield who are tied on four points each with a win each from their one game and a bonus point each as well Wellington College sit top one win one defeat but three bonus points leaving them on six points so victory for Millfield will see them top the table for Whitgift it could see them go charging up it the two teams are ready, just about ready to get underway. Millfield in that famous red, green and blue striped shirt will be kicking off on the left-hand side of your screen. Receiving on the right-hand side in blue will be Whitgift. The crowd is building nicely and it will continue to build throughout the day. 
Lots and lots of teams in action here in Somerset. And they will be filling that far side. Referee just waiting for the clock to tick to that 30 mark exactly. Schools rugby at its finest. That looks as though it's going to be Stefan Emmanuel to kick off the inside centre. Remember, he scored that wonderful intercept try against Wellington College. And we're underway. Emmanuel hoists it high. Knocked on by Millfield. Great chase it was. Gathered by Gower Smith. And Whitgift into their pattern. Sam Line, the scrum half, looks as though he's shaping up for a box kick. And use it, please. Line. Hoists it high. Spilled in the backfield, so Whitgift have a chance to attack. Line with a little dart around the outside. Plenty of involvement early on for the scrum half. Roll away, please. Good, ball's available. George Timmins with the tackle. Look out for him today. He's been extraordinary so far this season. Knocked on, though, so Millfield now have a chance to counter. Spilled again, though, and the ball is scrappy in these opening exchanges. A few cold fingers, perhaps, as things get started. I'm sure you're all aware that temperatures have finally started to drop in this last week. I say that like it's a good thing. I'd like to stay nice and warm in my commentary position. Got my timing, clear picture, don't compete before the ball comes in. Yai and Davis to put the ball in. Crouch! Part of that England under 18 set up, remember. He'll be off training with them next week. Set! Otherwise, you can guess from his name, there's another nation that might look to come calling. Millfield, get the ball out wide to Rickard. Late call up, but making good ground is Rickard. And it boy carries it in. Howlett looks to feed it wider. Strong carry from Benetti, but good tackling from Whitgift. Howlett stabs it through. There's a little bit of space there, is there? Oh, it's a fantastic commitment from Howlett. Just spills forward. Brilliant commitment from the fly half, though. Whitgift have it inside the Millfield 22. Fitzgerald now, he's been a real star for this Whitgift side with the long clearance. Millfield have a bit of space to counter and Cottrell will have a look. Held in the tackle so rightly doesn't get to his feet. Timmins, what a wonderful player he is. Kept alive superbly by Lyons. His school's championship debut. Ball just spilled, but spilled backwards for Millfield, was it? No referee says it was still forward. So we'll have a scrum down. Whitgift ball. Good start on that scrum. Straight for hips this side, please, both of you. Scrum, you know, and Emmanuel on the loose head Crouch. on the far side. Such a tidy operation, both in the tight and the loose. Can you do any damage to the Set. scrum or will that trio of Flint, Abraham and Miller stand up to it? Well, Emmanuel gets moving, but the ball gets out. Oh, play on, play Defending on. now, Whitgift looking to probe. It's in the arms of the captain, Heaver. Heaver. Fitzgerald. Will clear his lines. Cottrell Keep returns coming, it with green. interest. Good. Town rope. A little look at a counter. Chase was pretty good though. Chase was so good, in fact, that Millfield have turned the ball over on the 22. Emmanuel tied up, so in steps Tom Howlett from the left wing. Emmanuel's back now and feeding Howlett, who feeds Benetti, and that's a big carry from Benetti in the midfield.
Howlett shows and goes. Clear out's got to be efficient, and it is. Now Davis takes it in. Davis just has a little pro. We'll go through the forwards on the right hand side now. Uh, roll seven. Good. Oh, boy. Emmanuel out the back to Howlett. Howlett through the back line now. Millfield getting through the phases, but over the ball. Oh, Whitgift. A key turnover for Will von Daddleston. Millfield were building up ahead of steam there. But the Whitgift blindside flanker and his third school's championship start yes, with a key intervention. Green, I'll put you on the, on the mark, all right? Does well to get his feet around. Gets his hands on the ball. Blue, set your meter from green there on Too the hat, solid yeah? in that position for Emmanuel to do much about it. He's fine on him, please. Line out. We've been short on line outs actually so far, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, two and two. Two metres and two in. For you who receive Let's see how this first one goes. Von Daddleston is the target. Von Daddleston collects, but the line out not straight, so we'll have a scrum down. Millfield ball. And having seen this side through this season and through the years, this is the sort of attacking position that they will look to build something really special from. Many of last year's first Set. 15 have come down to watch this one. And hold the drive. Good. Timmins off the base of the scrum to Davis and Howlett. And Howlett moves the ball wide. And now Cottrell has it in his hands, but he's well scragged by Connor Budd. Through goes Ormerod. Had an excellent game against Wellington College. Emmanuel now carrying on the short line. Wicked compete really hard at the breakdown though. Great work on the floor by Milford by Whitgift. It's a strong carry from Emmanuel. But Whitgift instantaneously over the ball. Fitzgerald with the touch finder. And that is a fantastic touch finder from Ethan Fitzgerald, as we see here. Whitgift so quickly over the ball. I can't quite make out who that was. It was the tight head, Jamie Miller. His second school's championship game. Let's go, please, Blue. Ball's available. Yeah, I am two and two for you, mate. Not going to remind you again. Von Daddleson again the target, Millfield get a hand on it but line looks to counter now Heaver feeds Fitzgerald, Scrum advantage over Blue. feeds Sean Kerr who puts in the crossfield kick doesn't quite go to hand drifts out but Millfield will be asked to play out from their own 22 from the line out keep an eye on Sean Kerr first viewing of him in the school's championship but a real talent in that 12 shirt. Your mark blue, yeah? On me? So I'll set their meter from you. 10 on your seven, seven's on side. One step. <laughs> Whip gift to steal the line up. No hands now, run four, let tricky go. Tricky area for both sides so far. Good, well listen to, thanks. Line to Don Daddleston. It's well met by the defense. Line has a little dart around the fringes. Feeds his forward. Roll away two. Quick gift, keeping things tight. Oh, Timmins. He's an animal in the contact area. 
Fitzgerald now looks to go wider. Kerr, oh, what a pass that is out to Connor Budd on the left wing, but just spilled by Budd, so Millfield have a chance to counter, and counter they will. Oh, it's intercepted in the end by Townrow. So we come back for the scrum from the knock-on. What a tackle it was from Timmins. We're going to see the replay of it here. Oh, he is such a strong tackler. Moved from six to eight today, as he was against Cheltenham College. Part of the England under-18 setup as well. But it's all about the team for both of these sides. Five. Two fantastic groups of players. Set. Two fantastic schools rugby communities as well. Three just making sure everyone's balanced at the scrum. Tiki Tonga Five. goes up around me. Set. Famous Millfield chart poached by Saracens over the years. Millfield breaking out from that scrum. Howlett almost up to halfway. And Davis knows the space behind, so just prods a little kick in behind. Bud is up there to deal with it. They were playing with advantage, Millfield. Offside, one blue. What an electric break that was from the scrum. Howlett then is going to look to the corner. Still nil-nil, almost 12 minutes gone. Oh, what a kick from Howlett. What a kick from the young fly half. You see the replay, how that penalty came about. I think Whitgift never got back on side. Line out's been a tricky area. How does it go this time? Solidly, oh. now Millfield build them all. It's into the hands of Benetti at the tail. And they're inching forward now. Benetti, they play with advantage, they don't need it. Benetti is across the try line and Millfield have the lead. Superb mall drill from the home side. They got the ball quickly to the tail. Benetti there. Whitgift did their best to get there early. But in their desperation, they ran out of bodies. And Benetti with the power to get across the line and score the opening try of the game. And it'll be Stefan Emmanuel to take the conversion and I'll tell you what from my commentary oh, position I am bang on to tell you if this has gone over be embarrassing if I get it wrong though won't it steps forward it's a lovely connection oh it's absolutely sailed through from Stefan Emmanuel and Millfield have a 7-0 lead 13 and a half minutes gone and that is a very very well worked line out drill from Millfield. Henry Benetti there, the try scorer. Had a good game against Wellington College. And he started in fine fashion here against Whitgift. I think we're just having a little break because there's an injury in the backfield. So we'll just have a couple of minutes while we get ready. One of the great viewing positions in all of schoolboy rugby. 
We've been treated to a few this season, haven't we? Yes, we've seen King's Home and Six Ways, wonderful stadiums, but we've also seen that stand at Wellington College and this brilliant stand slash balcony slash school canteen here at Millfield School. Multi-purpose, but it works as a superb, superb viewing position. Some interesting outfits there on the far side. That's a few of that team from last year that we were telling you about earlier. I hadn't quite expected to see the uh, Millfield First 15 tank top getting unfurled today, but... Uh, well, who am I to give fashion tips, I suppose, eh? Chris Wilkins having a little chat with his charges while we just wait to get all the players on the field. I think Whitgift are going to make a substitution. I can see someone coming across and taking his tracksuit off. Handing uh, over touch judge duties to Chris Wilkins. There, now, I'm, I'm, I'm not a betting man, but I would say he's probably not going to end up running touch over there on the far side. In fact, he's now, he's now trying to make John Mallett take over the touch judge flag. He's not going to do it either. Eventually, one of the Millfield youngsters, a scrum half, I just hear, taking over. Now, I think it's Sam Line. The Whitgift scrum half, who's sadly got a knock and is going off. So we'll just have a look at how they adjust for that. Let you know who's on, who's off. I think it's Dom Wade who's come on, but he's a forward. So I think what we're going to see is one of the forwards moving into the back line. Possibly Max Hammond, the open side. We'll keep an eye on that one for you. Millfield safely gathered the kickoff. Just to appraise you of where we are, 14 minutes in. And Millfield have just scored the opening try of the game through Henry Bonetti. Stefan Emmanuel landing the conversion. And Millfield looking to get a second. Oh, they know it's just spilled in that contact there. So we'll come back and we'll have a scrum on the halfway line. And I'll tell you what, that'll give us a good chance to see who's playing where in this Whitgift back line. Just in case his parents are watching, I should say that sound line in He's up and about behind the sticks. Bit of a bang more than anything else, I'm hoping. He's stood up and he's pacing around a little bit. So uh, hopefully he's OK. And hey, I was right. Max Hammond is the man that's going to be playing at scrum half. I could claim to have real knowledge there, couldn't I? But uh, let's be honest, that was just a bit of a lucky guess. Crouch! Hammond then Five. to put the ball in. Set. Pretty straight. <laughs> Whitgift with the free kick. Well, that's very honest put in from Hammond. Not often you see one that straight. That's what that's what happens. You see when you get those honest forwards playing in the back line. Whitgift go quickly from the free kick. Well, Daddleston is met with force, though, by the Millfield defence. Hammond delivers it to Fitzgerald, to Kerr. Kerr out to Heaver, and Heaver out to Townrow. And now it's on the right-hand side with Stuart Parsley. Kerr plays scrum half there to Harry Flint. Hammond now to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald out the back to Kerr. Kerr. Manages to offload out the tackle and now Fitzgerald and now it's out to the wide areas and we've got Connor Budd in possession. Budd does well to stay in field. Ball is eventually knocked forward into touch, I think, by Millfield. But with that change at scrum half, Whitgift, if anything, showing a little bit more expansion in their game. Stretching the ball right from one side of the field to the other. I think that could be a key for them. The more they can get the ball in both Fitzgerald and Kerr's hands, that key 10-12 combination, it's almost like a Smith-Powell combination, that 
then the more we are going to see this Whitgift side getting a real width on their game. Tapped back by Von Dazzledin. Fitzgerald tidies up. Whitgift round the fringes with the forwards. Hammond now feeds Von Dazzledin to Heaver, the captain. Fitzgerald, Kerr, Kerr finds Townrow in the backfield. So Townrow has the ball ripped away from him. So we'll have a millfield scrum. Millfield defence has been exceptional so far, soaking up plenty of Whitgift possession. And the combination there, it was Timmins and Lions, I think, that were combining there. May have been Timmins and Emmanuel. Another short delay. It looks like Millfield have had another bang. So Jack Lee, who started at number eight against Wellington yeah, College, comes on to replace what looks like Hayden Ebsworth to me. So I think what we might see there is Alex Deering moving into the second row and Jack Lee slotting in in the back row. And indeed, that is what happens. Jack Lee packing down on the blind side. Crouch. Now this is interesting. Five. Whitgift in attack playing with Hammond as a scrum half, but in defence keeping him on the flank. Oh, in fact, go I'm, back, I'm talking back, nonsense. Back, What's back, happened back. is Whitgift have called back, across a player back, from the second side. 15 game who's now slotted in at scrum half. Unfortunately, we don't have his name, but I'll see if I can uh, if I can find that from somewhere. Lee with his first carry of the game. Oh, it's a break from Davis. Davis almost up to halfway. Hammond snaffles him. Lee to Emmanuel out the back to his namesake, Emmanuel. And now Benetti in the wide channels and Cottrell now. And Millfield is surging towards the 22. So hands in, six. Playing with advantage now. So Lee goes out the back and Howlett feeds Emmanuel. Emmanuel across the game line as ever. The big loose head. Timmins now in the wide channel. Feeds Cottrell. Cottrell does well to step back inside and stay in field. And that's a big clear from Timmins. Lee into the 22 now in Millfield. Davis has another dart. Davis has one-on-one -on -one with the fullback. Davis up to the five-metre line. Millfield on the charge. Now it slows down. The forwards have a rumble around the corner. Searching for a second try now, the home side. Davis goes short, but it's spilled across the try line. No hands, Green, no hands. Whitgift escape. Try and work a position for a kick through Akamea. And Fitzgerald clears his lines, stays in field though. So Cottrell, what can the exciting fullback do? Good tackle that from Connor Budd. One on one with Cottrell is not a position I'd want to find myself in. Millfield to Emmanuel to his namesake Emmanuel and now out on the far side to Lyons just spilled again Back through contact down. inches from the try line Milford have been so close twice now but we'll have a Whitgift scrum five metres out and Whitgift survive again Oh, it 
was unlucky for Lyons, actually. He tried to get the offload away and just couldn't quite. And I'll tell you what, if that stuck, that was try time. Love to see that from Lyons. It's what you want to see from these guys, is just trying things. And both of these teams so far doing a great job of trying things out. I think we're having another delay. It's another bit of a bang. Whip, you're one of those schools that work so closely with return to play. Whose hat is keeping me very nice and toasty this afternoon in Somerset. been an awesome season so far for Millfield. It's a sort of slow start. They faced that incredible Clifton College side in the opener okay, up at Sedbury School, you remember. Live streamed here on Next Gen 15. Faced a tough College Sergar side as well. And then since then, they have just been utterly sensational. Came to a real climax with that victory against Wellington College in round three of the school's championship. And then four days Crouch. later, they were down at the St. Joseph's Festival Bye. where they won the title for a record eighth Set. time. Back-to-back -back titles. The first time that's happened since the mid-2000s. This unit has done incredibly well. They put that Whitgift scrum under real pressure, but Whitgift tidy it up and will look to make an exit. And just to finish that thought off, Millfield then last week were in a real battle against Cheltenham College who were leading them with about 20 minutes to go. But Millfield come flying back to win it 26-17. And we saw how dangerous that Cheltenham College side can be on Thursday night's live stream from King's Home where they just went down against Sir Thomas Riches. An absolute thriller of a game. Millfield line out just inside the 22. We saw what they did from closer range earlier on. And they do similar here. Now they go off the top this time out to Howlett. Just spilled through contact from Ormerod. And tidied up by Town Road. Fitzgerald charged down by Lee. Back into the hands of Fitzgerald. That bounce so unfortunate for Lee. Gives it gives a chance to escape as Stuart Parsley makes a bit of ground. Lee so unfortunate there. Bounce of the ball playing in Whitgift's favour. Let go on the floor, please, gents. It's a real competition. The breakdown it's turned over Millfield's weight. Ormrod takes that into contact. It's the men with the blue stripe. Go again. Heart of the 22 now. Short through Davis. Ollie Davis, the tight head prop. Howlett goes short again to Lyons on the hard line. Lee ships it on one. To Alex Deering. Howlett now. Benetti, the try scorer. Oh! Ferocious through contact from Benetti. Davis to Emmanuel. Emmanuel is met with force by Whitgift. Brilliant defence from the Croydon side. Three players, three three the referee three blows for a penalty to Whitgift. Couldn't quite make out what that was for. It might have been a pre latch. One, 16 green, three brown. Gerald, with that big boot of his, has a chance to take Mil Whitgift rather. Almost up to halfway. That'll be what he's aiming for. And he's gone for even more, and it's stayed in field, so the chase is going to need to be good as Millfield looks to counter. Timmins feeds Howlett. Howlett, the big pass out to Emmanuel. Emmanuel to Lyons. Lyons sticks it up the jumper and has a little run down the left, the right hand side, and Lyons. Oh, it's a wonderful individual score. 
from Jaden Lyons. He had no right to score it. Did brilliantly well to stay in field and then the strength to hold off the tacklers and the pace and power to finish. And Jaden Lyons on his school's championship debut has Millfield's second try. What a moment for the young outside centre. Look at this from Lyons, tucks it up the jumper, big fend, good footwork and then great strength and pace. Von Daddleston does everything he can, manages to catch him, but Lyons is already just about across the line. And look what it means to those boys out there. And his centre partner, Stefan Emanuel, has a tricky conversion to try and make this 14-0. But judging by that first one, you wouldn't put it past him. Certainly got the distance, it's just skewed a little left. That was a great effort from Stefan Emmanuel. Millfield with a 12 0 lead, and we've got about nine or ten minutes until the half time break. What a score from Millfield! Two completely different tries. Benetti through them all and then Lyons with some individual brilliance, but that is Millfield rugby all over. That ambition on the counter-attack from one side of the field to the other. They've got Lyons on the front foot, and once he was on that front foot, there was no stopping him. That boy takes it in, and now Lee does the same. What can Whitgift do in response? They've had a lot of possession. Can they make some of it stick? We'll have a chance here. Davis's box kick, but that's a wonderful box kick. And Timmins taps it back to Lee. And Lee gets on the charge almost up to halfway. A ferocious clear out work from Millfield. Now Deering takes it in, and Deering keeps that leg drive going. Wickett have done well, though. I think the referee has called more. No, he's not. Davis to Howlett. Emmanuel now. Skips out the try scorer Lions because it's into the hands of Cottrell and Cottrell is one on one in the backfield. But I don't know what's happened there. The ball's ended up in Whitgift hands. And Sean Kerr, the England man, has a chance to break free. And now Ben Quarry has a chance to break free. This is going everywhere. Go no, off being 12, let go. Up to the halfway line. Penalty coming Whitgift's way. Millfield just a loss of discipline there. Well, I said this on Wednesday night that I don't really, or Thursday night rather, I don't really like it that you're not allowed to have a go at the scrum half and clear him out. Okay, nine. On that occasion, though, it was uh, fairly clear cut. 11, playing the nine. And Whitgift have a penalty, and Fitzgerald pumps them up just beyond the 10 metre line. I see it again here, the new scrum half. Ball was uh, very much in. Oh. What can Wickiff do here? They get their line out drill right. They have stacks and stacks of player in the players in the backfield. It's a four-man line out, and they have flooded the wide channels. And we won't get a chance to see what happens because it's a free kick, Millfield. Davis goes quick and stabs it through. Oh, stays in field, but it may work out brilliantly. It's up to the Whitgift try line, and Whitgift are going to have to escape. Oh, it's wonderful footwork from Town Row to escape. And feeds Stuart Parsley, who's got some front row forwards around him, so he's going to make a bit of ground until he hits the loose head. Johan Emanuel, but Whitgift can stay in possession. Fitzgerald, oh, it's delicious to Hammond. Hammond now in the open field. Howlett does well to bring him down. And Yian Davis, the scrum half on the open side. And now Yian Davis goes fast, does he know? The referee calls him back. That's brilliant from Davis. The Millfield skipper with a turnover that a flanker would be proud of. But Whitgift 
finding a way to break through the line there. Fitzgerald getting his hands free and feeding Hammond. As Millfield go for broke on the kick and wow. Time off, Captain Samee, please. What a kick. And Millfield will have a line out seven or eight metres out. It oh, was a stunning kick. All round stunning play from both sides in the course of the last minute or so. Ref's just going to have a little chat with the two skippers. Two very fine players, the respective okay. captains as well. See the replay here. Hammond Giant happy. tackled by Thank Howlett. You. You're about right. on me, on me. Look at that. Hammond okay. bursting through. Time on. Chopped low by uh, Tom Howlett there, and then it was Giant Davis that got the turnover. And it's from that turnover penalty that Millfield are in this possession. Benetti. No, through six. Don't change your bind now. At the back of it. Scored one try already from this position. He's up towards the try line now, but he's pulled just short. So Millfield will go through a manual. He's no short been. as well. Inches from the try line. Jack Lee now has a go. He's just short too. They are so close. At a boy now. And now Timmins. Let go, 316. Go the other way this time. Look like Ollie Davis that time. Not over the line, let go, Blue, let go, good. They are so close. Again, just short. That's brilliant defence from Whitgift. Space on the left hand Hands side, I think, feet, if they please, can move Blue. the ball that way. Davis has spotted it. Whitgift have moved to cover it. Use it, Green. Emmanuel goes close. Deering now has a go. So close, our oh, Millfield. Plugging away, short, they go. Short, they think they're short. over that time, do they? No, not quite. Davis goes wide, and across the line they go, and it's George Timmins, the number eight. Over on the left hand side, and a third try for Millfield. Patient, patient play around the fringes. And it's George Timmins that gets himself across. Working through a number of phases, Millfield work. And the flat pass from Yain Davis and Tim Well, You aren't going to stop him from there, are you? Third try for Millfield. And a 17-0 lead with the conversion to come. It's been an extraordinary first half from Millfield. Took a while for that opening score to come, but since then we have seen the full array of skills from this school that has produced so many top players all around the world. Conversion. Couldn't quite tell if that one went over or not. Tired, boys. Tired. My dad was a whistle going behind me at precisely the right moment. It was landed, so we're at 19 0. Still playing advantage. Howlett playing with advantage, so he has a little bit of a run. Davis has a little bit of a bounce around the fringes. And Lee is met fantastically by Don Wade. But Millfield have a penalty. Well, given what they've done with lineouts. So far, 
got a crowd of support nearby us. Given what they've done from line out so far, it is no surprise to see them pump this towards the corner. This time they're between the 22 and the 10. Benetti to launch this one in. I must say, I am a huge fan of Henry Benetti's boots. All too rare that you see a nice set of black boots. But Benetti's gone for it. The classic Nike TM pose. Good man. Uh, Ten blue. A breaking play. Looks as though Gabriel Akamea. There they are. There's those boots. Lovely numbers. I had a pair of those myself back in my. Uh, I was going to say my fleet-footed days. I've never had fleet-footed days, but back in the days when I used to think that I did. Gabriel Akamea has gone off for Millfield. Which I think means that Samuel Johnson will have come on. I'll confirm that for you as soon as I see a shirt number. Millfield line out went right. Scrum advantage over Blue. So Sean Kurt tidies up and now Hammond gets on the charge. And Whitgift have penalty advantage. Can they use it to their advantage? Connor Budd has a little dart down the left hand side. Looks as though he might have been held there, but the referee says it's fine. So on we play. Jamie Miller working hard. Kurt met by Timmins. Timmins is so aggressive through contact. No advantage for Whitgift. So Millfield, and it looks as though it's going to be a yellow card. I think it's going to be a tackle height issue. And it's Hugo Ormerod that gets the yellow. A little unfortunate there, just riding too high in, in the tackle, I think. Nothing malicious in it at all. Whitgift. High tackle, seven green. Fitzgerald. Finds a great touch, actually. Oh, and a great take by that man in the crowd. Absolutely outstanding, and he looks very happy with himself after that one. Last play, both sides. Yeah, it's unlucky, that one from Ormerod. Just his right arm slipping up. Ball's available. Let's go, please, Blue. Very, very unlucky. Definitely nothing at all malicious about it. As you'd expect, these are two fantastic groups of young players. Whitgift line out in front of some of those Millfield former first 15 players. They get the ball down safely and Hammond goes on the hard line. He's met well by Adeboy. Kerr now has to cut back in field. And Kerr, oh, he's done so well through contact. And Kerr, oh, what a wonderful solo effort from Sean Kerr. <laughs> the England under 18 and Harlequins man showing just why he has those accolades to his name with a try out of absolutely nothing. Superb strength through the tackle. Look at this. Nothing on. Fitzgerald pulls it back to him. Defence is up high, so Kerr has to just bounce in field. And look at the strength of the tackle. That is some of Millfield's strongest defenders that he's worked his way through. And then he has the pace and finesse to finish. Sean Kerr, outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. And Fitzgerald has a conversion chance here at what I think is probably going to be the half-time mark. Certainly, Whitgift are gathering in the other side of the field, so looking as though it's going to be. What a try from Kerr, just when his side needed it as well.
Fitzgerald. Oh, that's magical from the fly half. And that means at half time in this school's championship fourth round game, we go in Millfield leading 19 points to seven against Whitgift. Whitgift in the end, finding reward for a lot of their possession through a moment of magic from Sean Kurt. But through much of that first half, it was about the all round, all court style of play from Millfield. A try from them all, a magical counter-attacking try, and then a try through sheer belligerent patience on the Whitgift try line. Half time, Millfield 19, Whitgift 7. I'll give you the replays of those tries shortly. This is how the scoring began. A really tidy maul, tidy line out, and then a tidy maul from Millfield and the hooker Henry Benetti. Crashing over the opening score, but how about this for a piece of brilliance from Jaden Lyons. Pace, power, footwork, determination all on show in abundance from Lions to score that second try. And then the third was all about the forwards doing these hard inch by inch drives. And then Davis to Timmins and Timmins gets across the line. Loving life there. But then the final act of the half was this, a moment of absolute magic from Sean Kerr. Bouncing off the would-be tacklers and then showing the pace to get away for his side's opening score in the final play of the half. Takes us into half time. With Millfield leading 19 points to seven. There's a few call-ups across from the second 15 games. I'll see what I can do to uh, update you as to who those guys are. I do apologise if we don't get their names. They have literally just been called across in the second team pitch. But, uh, nevertheless, we will do our best to give them a shout-out because what a moment for them to get to experience being a part of this. But also, we want to give people their dues, don't we? So they've not, not that they've been ill-disciplined, but that they're in control of this game. And if they can keep their discipline and keep their field position, they should be all right. Now, interestingly, we've just had an Instagram audio from the Whitgift team, which I think might be someone telling me who's come on. And it is indeed. Samuel Johnson has come on at fly half. Fantastic. Modern tech, eh? Cheers, Whitgift. In case you want to give me any more updates, there's a there's a lad who's come on wearing the number eight shirt from the second 15 game. So if you uh, if you give me an update on that, that'd be much appreciated. Much obliged. Thank you. If anyone running a Millfield uh, social media account is uh, is around, there's a there's a lad who's come across in the second 15 game as well who's I'm told is a second a second row so if you spot him then do give me a shout he'll be coming on later in the half though so you've got some time to work that one out we're back underway 
here on the Sir Gareth Edwards pitch. And George Timmins collects the Whitgift kickoff. Millfield playing on the right hand side of your screens now in those famous hoops. Whitgift on the left in the blue. And use it, Queen. Yeah, thanks, Josh. Good discipline. Millfield kick clear to Fitzgerald in the backfield for Whitgift. Oh, Fitzgerald, that's wonderful footwork. Oh, so unlucky pass, just not quite collected. So now Millfield have a chance to counter through the try score at Lyons, who gets the offload away. Here on the near side. No, Josh, let go. I think Noah Miller has come on. See if I can confirm that one for you. He was calling for a kick over the top for Millfield. Timmins just spills the ball through contact. Whitgift then will look to play. Heaver calling for it, the captain, and Heaver gets it out the back to Fitzgerald, who looks for a bit of space. Miller in the backfield. Does really well. Lovely footballing skills from Miller. Sharp thinking because Stuart Parsley was right up on him. Lee through contact. Davis back inside to Emmanuel. Emmanuel gets across the gain line. Howlett to Timmins. boy. Howlett back inside off the referee. I think he might be quite pleased that one's hit the referee because that one was uh, was dropping. Millfield will have the scrum. I can confirm it is Noah Miller that's come on on the left wing. An injury down heading into this one. But he's fit and he's showing his footballing skills out here on the left wing. Millfield. Still with 14, so Lyons comes to pack down in the back row. He's a big man, the outside centre. And given that the back line is therefore depleted by one, it would not surprise me one bit to see the giant that is George Timmins pick this one up off the base. And indeed, that is what he does. Feeds Davis. They're going to have a little probe down the blind side here as Cottrell takes it into contact. And now they're into their pattern in Millfield. Jack Lee goes short off Davis. Playing with advantage, I think, in Millfield. And Whitgift for offside. So Millfield have a chance to pump it into the corner and we've seen what they've done twice from that kind of play. <laughs> Another player comes across for Millfield from the second team pitch. He's just running into the chain rooms to get his sparkling first team kit on. Five. Rather gutter. Freddie Gavitas strolling below me. Usually turns up in his tweed jacket. Perhaps that's just for away games. Just a casual jumper today. Former Millfield player, now assistant coach to John Mallet here at Millfield. Falls down well in the mall and Benetti has it at the tail. It's just crabbing towards the touchline, so he breaks free. That does really well actually, just to buy some time for his team. Lee feeds Timmins. Timmins makes a bit of ground. Emmanuel goes short. And around the corner again go Millfield. And this is a familiar pattern. But the pattern is called to a halt because someone's had a little bang on the head and the referee is quite rightly brought proceedings to a halt. I suspect the next breakdown may see Millfield back up to 15 men. 
by our clock, there's only about 30 seconds left on that. Looks as though everyone's okay. Will von Dadelsden. I think actually it has turned out it wasn't a, uh, a bang on the head, it was a bang on the chest. Will von Dadelsden. Okay to continue. Fine! Set! Quite right there to have an abundance of caution. Millfield scrum. No, Crabs around relax, to that relax. left hand side, so I think we'll go again. There's a moment of hush from the crowd here. I suspect if Millfield do something off this scrum, the volume might go through the roof. Scrum set, set very high initially, but drops down a bit. And it's at the tail. Timmins has it now at his feet. Millfield making a bit of ground. Timmins now breaks towards the blind side. That advantage, six must roll quicker. Advantage to Millfield. Short they go. Through added boy. And across the line they go. Is it added boy? I think it might be. It's his arm that's in the air. Might have been Emmanuel next to him, in fact. Certainly one of them. Fourth try for Millfield. Gabemaga, Adeboy. Around the right hand side, crabs to the left. And I think in the end it's Emmanuel that charges over the loose head. Adi Boy doing all the hard work One, and Johan Emanuel, like a Gary Lineker, getting that one across from an inch. Johan Emanuel with the try. It's a props haircut that as well, isn't it? Extras added by Stefan Emanuel. Emmanuel the try scorer, oh, Emmanuel the converter. <laughs> and a 26 7 lead for Millfield. Less than a minute on the yellow card, I hear from the referee. So I suspect that'll mean next breakdown, we are playing at 15 aside again. Fitzgerald to Adiboy. Adiboy full of confidence at the moment. Taken back in green. Davis Use it, please. setting up for the box kick. Hangs it high. Claimed well by Townrow. Turn advantage, 10 must roll quicker. It's going to be a penalty to Whitgift. Hamlet can quite get out of that one fast enough. Fitzgerald then looks to play. Scrappy ball, but the referee still playing advantage, so Whitgift will keep plugging away with it. Found their structure again, so. Fitzgerald to Kerr, but it's half intercepted by Emmanuel, so we restart with a Whitgift penalty. And Fitzgerald will surely look to the corner with this one. That left peg of his will be put into action. Yeah. Time off. Send me back on, please. Millfield back up to 15. It's a new man coming onto the pitch, called across from the second team field. Ollie Wilkinson, very handy having John Mallett right underneath my coaching position. My coaching position, he's the coach, I'm just speaking. Getting fed all sorts of lies from below. Ollie Wilkinson is on though, that's the most important thing. 
exciting moment for him. Having a good detailed chat as well, actually, with Stefan Emmanuel. As we look at the crowd over there, it's a very handy position over there because you get coffee, cake, all sorts. Lovely little cafe. You get all sorts here at Millfield. And all sorts of characters there as well. Plenty of interested spectators, including some very young ones and some slightly older ones. Okay, that's fine. Do you want to borrow mine? Bit of a delay. I think Milf I think Whitgift rather have got another injury at scrum half. Sadly, Sam Johnson, who came on for Good Sam Line, I think has taken a knock. So I'll see if I can work out what they've done in terms of a reshuffle. Looks to me as though well it looks to me as though we've got a second row coming on, but I assume that's not the uh, the permanent solution. Come on. Fitzgerald. I think I called him left footed a minute ago, but he's clearly right footed. He's thumped that one up towards the twenty two. told over in that second 15 game it's going quite well for Millfield can Ollie Wilkinson bring across some of that and continue the good work that Millfield are putting in on the first team pitch Whitgift will be hoping they can put an end to it Hebert really tidy at the line out pass just behind Fitzgerald but he gets it to Kurt we've already seen what that Inside centre can do. On Daddleston to Wade. Hammond. I think Hammond might be playing at scrum half again now. He had a little stint there in the first half, didn't he? And it looks as though the open side is the man stepping in at scrum half. Back, Chris Bayon. Here in off the second me. half. Blue knock on first before it came off me. Scrum down, green ball. It'll be a Millfield scrum. There he is, Hammond, standing in at scrum half. And that pass just forward, I think. Ah, it's hit the ref, there we go. And in contrast to what they did in the first half, it looks as though Hammond will be at scrum half in defence as well. Crouch! Tough one this for Whitgift. Fine. Losing two scrum halves. Set. But Hammond has already shown that he's got a wide range of skills. Will no doubt do a fine job. Howlett to Emmanuel. Emmanuel out the back to Howlett again. Cottrell, the ball just behind him though and spilled forward. So Whitgift will have the scrum. Right down in front of my commentary position. This is going to be a good opportunity to see what's going on between those two front rows. Sets of forwards right in front of us here. Set. Steady scrum. It's a big drive now, though, from Millfield. Gone past the metre and a half, though, so it's a penalty. Whitgift. Whitgift with the penalty, but Millfield, you sense, with the momentum from that. I think young Johan Emmanuel simply could not contain his excitement at getting the charge on there. Gerald pumps the penalty up towards the 22. So just to explain why that's a penalty, schoolboy level, 
you're only allowed to drive for a metre and a half on safety grounds, Millfield driving too far. But uh, you suspect in the heat of battle between the two front rows, Millfield will be wearing a very satisfied smirk internally about that one. Ben Abraham, a star in this Whitgift side to throw in. Heaver, oh, it's a wonderful take from the skipper at the line out. Out to Kerr, Kerr, that's a wonderful offload. Strolling towards the try line goes Ben Quarry. Just short though, and Millfield turn it over. And it's Gabemaga Adeboy, I think, that got his hands on the ball. Well, it was superb play from Whitgift, but exceptional defence from Millfield as well. And Howlett gets the ball almost up to halfway, but it just stays in field. Well kept in by Fitzgerald. And now Townrow is going to have a break down the right-hand side. Townrow stepping back inside, making good ground. Fitzgerald deals with the bouncing ball. Advantage one, hands in. Whitgift have got a penalty coming. The ball is scrappy, but it's still in Whitgift possession. So Kurt decides to try and see if he can do something special, and special he can. Chips still it over the top and gathers good. it himself. Still playing with advantage. advantage. Heaver the skipper top. out to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald to Townrow. First advantage over Blue. First Hammond. one's over, second Abraham. one's still off. Jamie Miller, big shot in defence. Von Daddelston. Back the other way, Abraham. Oh, good hands there from Wade. And now Fitzgerald trying to weave his magic. Just spills the ball forward, but after a long, long advantage, the referee is going to come back for the penalty. Very kickable penalty, but you would imagine that Whitgift, given the scoreline at the moment, will probably go to the corner. As we look again at that break, Fitzgerald on to Quarry. And you thought for all money that Quarry was there, but he was snagged brilliantly by Noah Miller and then Adeboy getting over the ball brilliant play in both attack and defence there superb Hugo Ormerod is back on for Millfield George Timmins is going to have a rest and I think Millfield have made another change Adeboy having a rest as well after that exceptional turnover on his own try line okay, guys water off please Those two have put in a real shift. Fitzgerald, where he went for broke with that kick and the referee has said it stayed in field so it'll be a five metre line out Whitgift with an opportunity here just to close the gap still plenty of time left 20 minutes and we've seen Ben Abraham score a few tries off these malls in the past will he do so again here Von Daddleston brings it down oh it's a trick play Heaver to Abraham Abraham's across the line and Abraham does have the try Ben Abraham, he knows his way to the try line. That was a really, really clever move from Whitgift. We all thought they were going to set up them all, but Von Daddleston popped it down to his skipper Heaver, who went around the corner and fed Abraham. And there's a wry smile on the face of the Millfield coaching team. They know that was a Chris Wilkins special. 
Von Daddleston off the top to heave it to Abraham. And from that range, no one is stopping the Whitgift hooker. Ethan Fitzgerald with the conversion. Clean strike, is it? Just drifts wide. So we stay at 26 points to 12. But Whitgift showing a fair bit of fight here. High towering kickoff. Hammond tried to claim it but just lost it. So Millfield will have a scrum. And we'll just get an idea of where those changes are. I think we've got boy out in the second row. Will Howell has been called up from the second 15 into the second row. Ormerod and Wilkinson now on the flanks with Jack Lee at the back. We've picked Five. an excellent commentary position today. Set. Updates incoming. Oh. Left, right and centre. It's fantastic. Oh. Howlett out to Cottrell. Cottrell weaving this way and that. Making ground. Now Lee slotting it at number eight now. He makes ground as well. Now we've seen Millfield score twice from this sort of position. What can they do? From here, they're across the line. We know exactly what they can do. And it's Ollie Wilkinson. He was playing with the second 15 just a few minutes ago, but now he's here scoring on the Gareth Edwards pitch, the Sir Gareth Edwards pitch, in fact. His fifth try or his team's fifth try. Ollie Wilkinson driving from close range. It's actually great leg strength to crab around and get across the try line. And Millfield responding almost instantaneously to that Whitgift score. Emmanuel bangs over the conversion. He's been brilliant from the tee this afternoon as the inside centre. Uh, and his team have a 33 points to 12 lead. <laughs> Chris Middleton walks along below me. Once a legend of Uppingham School, now operating at Millfield. Scrum down, Millfield ball. Millfield, Whitgift rather, have got a new scrum half on. It may in fact be Sam Lyne who's returned. I'll see if I can find out for you. Scrum advances, please. More importantly, his side have got some counter-attacking ball to play with. If they can get it under control, they can't quite, so we'll go back towards the halfway line for a Whitgift scrum. Unlucky that from Howlett, wasn't he? Bar fly half inches away from a moment of magic.
Harrison Cross has come on for Whitgift Back, at scrum on. half. Strong advantage. My thanks again to the Whitgift Instagrammers for updating us on that. Harrison Cross playing at scrum half, and there he is with the ball in his hands. Chris Middleton, by the way, he's Craig Middleton. I knew that. My teacher, once upon a time. In a different life for him. Yian Davis! Oh, Yian Davis! Magical! Out of nothing from Yian Davis. What a bit of play from the um, scrum half. The gap was there, steps inside, and oh, that is beautiful rugby from the Millfield skipper. And he gets a big old hug from his mate for his troubles. And he comes off and has a rest now, a deserved rest after that performance from the skipper. <laughs> Stefan Emmanuel standing over the conversion, this to make it 40 for Millfield. And he does indeed make it 40. That's a lovely conversion once again from Stefan Emmanuel, who is striking the ball brilliantly this afternoon. 40 points to 12, Millfield lead. Six tries to their name. We've still got about 11 minutes left to go. They've rung the changes. There's a lot of second team players that have now come across. I will do my best to keep you abreast of who's who. Whitgift, of course, have made plenty of changes as well. Injuries have ravaged them somewhat. And it's penalty to Millfield straight from the kickoff. New man on there. You can see with the dark shorts on, wearing 14, who's come on for Yian Davis at scrum half. Tom Howlett. To pump this one upfield and finds a safe touch and an impressive one as well. I think we're just across the halfway line. Uh, Blue use the hash. Well, this has been some performance from Millfield, hasn't it? You skipper now. You skipper. Jack, all right. They've just squeezed and squeezed on that pet pressure valve, haven't they? One step, ten, one step. Good. And as the game has gone on and on, so they've found greater and greater reward. Out they go, Lions, who scored that wonderful try in the first half. Now Cottrell, and Cottrell is going to score a wonderful try of his own. George Cottrell, the fullback. He's been firing warning shots all day, and now he's got one to his name. George Cottrell. Brilliant from the fullback. The show, the go, and the pace. And there was nothing that Whitgift could do about it. George Cottrell, he'll enjoy that one. And Stefan Emmanuel. We'll stand over the conversion. There he is, George Cottrell, the try scorer. What a brilliant bit of play. <laughs> a 
Daniel just slides this one to the right. So the scoreline stays at Millfield 45, Whitgift 12. And Millfield are on their way to the top of the school's championship table. Set to push themselves two, point, two points clear of Wellington College and into first place. Strong advantage, Blue. Whitgift. What can they rescue from this? Well, two tries would get them a One bonus point. Arm rises up. One arm rises up. <laughs> they've got just about eight minutes to try and find one. So why not? Play some good stuff. <laughs> just been undone by this. Relentlessly. All caught. Millfield side who are playing with so much confidence. Ben Abraham will be the man to throw in. And he's already got one try to his name. He wouldn't say no to another, would he? Remember, there's in fact an award for the top try scorer in the school's Let's championship go. this year. And I'll tell you what, Abraham won't be far off that. Throw oh, goes over the top, just spilled by Millfield. Unlucky that. Always really tricky to take those ones that come over the top because you're kind of blindsided until the ball's upon you. So Whitgift will have a scrum. Harrison Cross, Whitgift's third scrum half of the game, will be the man to put this one in, referee just getting things reset. Clock ticking away, encourages team to keep rumbling forward, but Millfield are doing really well to hold this one up, but the wheel comes on now, and across the line they are. And I think it's going to be Abraham that comes up from underneath all that. He is indeed the last man up. I think it is Ben Abraham. Might even be George Hammond. We'll try and work it out. It was indeed Ben Abraham, I'm assured. You see it there. Abraham with the ball tucked under that armpit of his. And you know what? Having seen him, having seen him a few times, there's no way he's letting that go, is it? Over he goes, Ben Abraham. It was a really good reach, actually. Look at the body position he's in on the floor. Full length, gets the ball across the line for his second try. His side's third, and crucially, that means one more try. And Whitgift will get a bonus point in defeat here. And that is something to cling on to for them. It's been a brilliant Millfield display. But Whitgift, if they can come away with something, will be delighted. And I'll tell you what, Fitzgerald has just nailed that touchline conversion under immense pressure from a huge chase by Millfield. Uh, Hayden Ebsworth on the touchline, demanding that Jack Lee go and claim his kickoff. Let's see what happens. Well, it's a little tight of Lee's line. Backwards, play on. Spilled by Whitgift, though, so Millfield will have a scrum. A word, by the way, before we run out of time in this broadcast. The surface here on this Sir Gareth Edwards pitch is something to behold. I was at rugby school yesterday, which is an absolute carpet. Okay, let's go. Old big side. And there aren't many in the country that would rival it, but I tell you what, the Sir Gareth Edwards pitch here at Millfield is Crouch. certainly one of them. Absolutely magnificent surface. Five. 
set. Next Gen 15, of course, going to be spending a lot of time up at rugby school next year for the 200th anniversary of the game celebrations. In the here and now, though, Whitgift just tidying up that millfield kick in the backfield. Probing for a fourth try and a losing bonus point. But it's going to be Millfield that score and it's intercepted. Johan Emanuel. Well, he's enjoying that one. And why not? Johan Emanuel, the big loose head prop, snaffling the intercept and getting himself across the try line. I think that's his second try of the game, actually. A big old smile across the face of Johan Emanuel. We see it here. I'll tell you what, that is a wonderful intercept. Absolutely flew up out the line, snaffled it one-handed. I'll tell you what, no wonder he's pleased with that. Brilliant effort from the Wales under-18. Loose heads. And the referee says that's that. <laughs> Stefan Emmanuel converts Johan Emmanuel's try. And it finishes up here in the fourth round of the school's championship. Millfield 52, Whitgift 19. An epic performance from Millfield. Little that Whitgift could do in the face of that relentless pressure from the home side. And a real all-court display from Millfield. We saw tries in the tight from the likes of Emmanuel. Ollie Wilkinson as well coming across on the second 15 pitch and scoring from close range. But we also saw some of those flare tries that Millfield are known for. Jaden Lyons and George Cottrell with two wonderful efforts. Whitgift gave more than they got though. Some big, big moments and in the early stages. They had an awful lot of possession. A moment of magic from Sean Kerr as well and some great power leading to a couple of tries for Ben Abraham. But ultimately, this Millfield side just too much. And Millfield go to the top of the school's championship table. A win and a bonus point. Gives them four points and will send them two points clear of Wellington College at the top on eight points. Besieged by injuries in the end, we're Whitgift. Four scrum halves or four players playing at scrum half. They ended up cycling through. And we do wish all the very best to Sam Lyon and Sam Johnson. Max Hammond then had a go, but quickly Harrison Cross then came across from the uh, second 15 pitch and allowed Harrison, sorry, allowed Max Hammond to uh, slot back in to the back row. And Millfield. Well, here's where it all began way back in that first half. was Henry Bonetti who scored the tries. The referee just comes across. Good game he had as well. Pristine in white. This was the try though. Jaden Lyons. What a score this was. And when he went over the whole mood around this Sir Gareth Edwards pitch changed. There was a moment of real excitement and belief around. George Timmins got the third after a long period of pressure on the try line. Ian Davis, the skipper, fed Timmins and Timmins. Well, you ain't stopping him from there. Whitgift had the last say in the first half, though, and it was this moment of individual brilliance from Sean Kurt evading 
some of the very best defensive players in the Millfield side to charge away for a score. And a great score it was too. England under 18 man showing what he's all about. Second half though, and Millfield came out and they were battering through the forwards. Had a boy. Gave it a good shift, and Johan Emmanuel, well, he's got a couple of poachers tries today, hasn't he? That one from an inch out. It'll be 12, 15, 30, 40 metres by the end of the day. But I assure you, it's all on film. It was four inches at best. Quick gift hit back, though. A tidy little move off the line out. Even with that subtle ball and Ben Abraham, the try scoring machine at Hooker, getting himself across. Despite the best efforts of Noah Miller, who was really good when he came on for Millfield on the left wing. But how about this? Yian Davis, the skipper. Look at this step. Oh, Just about broke my ankles and I'm up here 50 yards away from it. He came off shortly after that, Millfield ringing the changes, but it didn't affect the quality of their play. George Cottrell storming in from halfway. Absolutely glorious score that was. Some player, the fullback. Lovely balanced running game. But again, Whitgift showed a lot of aggression and a lot of power and a lot of energy. Throughout the game, and they found a way across the line for a third try, and it was that man, Ben Abraham, again. Adding another two tries to the two he got against Wellington College back in round two. But it all finished off with the big man, Johan Emanuel with the intercept. And that one, I'll tell you what, I'll let him have a few yards on that. You don't often see your big loose head charging in like that. And it wasn't a bad one either. One-handed intercept at full pace. Credit where credit's due, eh? Here in Emmanuel. Two tries to his name. Brilliant work. But it all finishes up here in round four of the school's championship with Millfield beating Whitgift 52 points to 19. They go top of the championship after a wonderful display. We will be back with you, we hope, on Wednesday night for round five, before joining you with Next Gen 15 on Thursday for Seaford College against Hurstbeer Point College. That should be a cracker down in the south. Thank you very much for watching. Congratulations to Millfield. There you go, top, beating Whitgift, 52 points to 19. Thank <laughs> you.